so it gets really busy sometimes and you know as you know Turkish people smoke so when they smoke and you're walking past it that can be very annoying uh, because the less people in the other areas residential areas and family areas and you know normal areas then when you're walking around there's not much people which I, I find it a disadvantage but some people might find it an advantage because they like to have less people around when they're walking but with me especially at night time most of the areas are dead there's not much going on so there's not much people walking and I don't like that so that's just me but I guess another annoying thing is people you know then when you're walking and there's a lot of people looking at you there's eyeballs you know looking at you which some people find annoying I find it annoying sometimes I do not gonna lie all the historic hotels so um, it's not for everyone uh, to live in the city, city, city center old town as I said of course as an investment this is the most safest area you could ever invest in because you're now if you haven't seen that already about the horrors of living in a complex then you can watch that video so this is like part four or five about living in different areas of Turkey uh, complex villa and of course remote we're gonna talk about that and this is to do with the city center so this is actually many of the main shopping discounts they have it over here I love the little bread guys so here's the Marcantalia mall and so everything's inside here as a mall normally does but this one's got Islamic masjid but they're separate for men and women and there is the old ancient masjid with the compound this is the main Islamic uh, program all of them happen here this is where we especially come for the last 10 days of Ramadan this is the uh, tram that goes directly to the airport at the back of Antalya and here you have all the Islamic shops let's walk through there in a little while so yeah so I mean the city center has many advantages 40 pence and you're in the airport it's amazing 15 lira there's the old masjid and there's all the Islamic shops I don't think they like me recording here so here they have the Friday market uh, the main uh, what do you call it farmers market just here and as I said the apartment 100k apartment is just behind there so if you go straight down there uh, second right and that's the apartment there this is the main street this is the most busy street in Antalya and you see here's the mall again most of the things happening here this is where you get like, traffic because now you're in the main autobahn you could say or something of Antalya I mean for rush hour it's still not not crazy for being the most busy street so that street is the tram street that goes all the way there oh, I reached my destination so I'm sorry, I tried my best to look for problems uh, of living in the city centre but I literally can't find any more now I'm very sorry I mean, if you can maybe put some in the description and think of some and then ask me a question otherwise, literally, I cannot I tried my best, I really did I just can't think of anything that I can say Maybe you get more louder music, I don't know, maybe you get more louder music in the city center I guess that's one thing uh, when you go past restaurants or something some of the restaurants have loud music but then I don't know maybe we'll get that in other areas but maybe we'll get it more here because you have more restaurants and that's it man smoke the busyness uh, these kind of things are annoying sometimes now to start time we went right this time we're going to go left so this is that most beautiful street today we're going to go towards the park sorry about the sun it's a bit too sunny today <laughs> Say mashallah about it. Anyway, this is part two. If you haven't seen horrors of living in the city center, so because we couldn't fit it all in one video, and there's too much to see in the city center, uh, I couldn't squeeze it in in one video. So now, if I go on the left side, uh, I'm going to show you more of the old town and the big and my favorite park as well. So, so before talking about the horrors, I will be mixing it up with some of the good things because, of course, I'm biased. So this is uh, my nice fish place. They give you unlimited salad here, city of Balik. And uh, whenever you want lots of salad, we just come here, order like two meals. It's like four pound a meal or something. You get unlimited salad, a bath waffle. That's not all that. The best cheesecake in the world. 
it's on that left over there. So a lot of the restaurants and takeaways are here, which makes life very convenient. And uh, that is a donor place. Obviously a good donor over there. And here you have the park. So that's the main street there. And if I walk this way, is the park that overlooks the sea. And there's always some sort of festival that's going on here. So they're making a nice new play area. So that's why it's been closed off. They're making a really nice play area. But this is going to be one of the best parks. This is the best park in Antalya. Come on, mate. Look at that view. So there's an exercise area. That's one of the horrors of living in the city centre. Uh, beautiful sea views, mountains, all these cafes overlooking there. See, as I said, the music is annoying. Some places they get this stupid music, which I hate it. So that's annoying. That's definitely one of the horrors of living in the city centre. It's bad music. Well, not all music is bad, but, you know, sp especially when it's bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, why don't you get through their thick brains that people got their iPods and stuff. They don't need to have your stupid music. You know what I mean? They don't get through their thick brains. People are thick-headed. Majority of human beings. All right. So this is winter in Antalya. It's quite hot. It's about 18 degrees today. This is straight after the flooding, by the way. So all the flooding videos people were sending me. They're saying, oh, it's flooding, it's flooding. Are you okay? How the cafe is looking, overlooking the beautiful view. This is one of the horrors of living in the city centre. Is this view. It can be very horrific. Okay, so while I've been walking, uh, I've literally gone past at least, I think, four British Pakistani families. Uh, some Pakistani families, I think at least two of them were not from Europe. They're from Pakistan, Pakistan. So I'm just letting you know this place is fully crowded with many, many Pakistanis. Anybody telling me I need more, I need some people who can speak my language, you're going to find a lot of them here. Like, I'm hiding from them. Trust me. I hide from them. Because I don't need more communication. I really need more families now. So you can see a beautiful, you can go all the way down. As you can see that man there. People do fishing. You can hear the adhan. I'm going to go to the masjid now. So the good, one of the horrors of living in the city centre is that there's too many masjids. This is one of the massive horrors. Because every one minute walk, there's another masjid. It's horrific. And a lot of them are ancient. A lot of them have got glass floors. And uh, because you're literally praying on history, you know. So that can be very horrific. So you can see the boat rides because you've got the boat's harbour just down there as well. So from the old town, it's literally five minutes down. I'll just come round towards the park area to show you this, this horror. I'm being sarcastic, right? Okay, just in case someone didn't get it. As you can see, they make it very child and disabled friendly as well. Because you're in the city centre, of course, isn't it? Of course, and it can be annoying when there's so many things to look at. You get distracted by all these restaurants and stuff. Shopping can be a horror as well. You might need to keep stopping. So certain areas in the old town, right next to the masjids, you've got uh, these restaurants and stuff, which can be annoying at night time. So I don't come here at night time, to be honest, inside the old town, as I said. So that can be not nice, of course, because some of them serve alcohol, and uh, it's not nice. Uh, like there's a masjid here, there's a masjid literally 30 seconds walk behind it. So that one's more quieter, there's not much restaurants on that end. But this is my favourite one, Shehzad Jami, you can see it. Very historical, very ancient. This used to be a church. So when I said this is my local mosque, I wasn't joking. So when you live in the city centre, one of the horrors is of living with a mosque like this to be your local masjid. Where, as I said, you're walking on history. So honestly speaking, it's not for everyone, but for some people, it touches a nerve, and people dream of this, and I was one of them. But as I said, there's more local areas, which are less crowded, less people, less fun stuff happening, less enjoyable things, walking distance, and more residential. So that can also be arranged. But for me personally, I just can't get over this place. Like After many years of living here, I haven't got bored, do you understand? That's my personal guarantee that I feel, my family feels, my children feel. But I could be wrong, maybe there's a better place for you, which is two, three kilometers away from here, maybe five kilometers away, but you're in a residential local area. Maybe that is better for you, you know? So inshallah, do contact me if you're interested. 
and we'll uh, send you the information pack and you can join our telegram groups. Assalamu alaikum.